Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support and watching this video. Please like and share it. Do not forget that, so important. And if you are new, hey girl, hey, welcome to the tribe. I'm Tara Jones Williamson, and I am a lifestyle designer and also a financial success coach or over at Your Pretty Pennies, my other YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe there if you have not already. So first of all, before we get into the topic, today I just want to say happy birthday to me today is my birthday Friday February 11th um, I'm turning 33 I turned 33 years old today and I'm pretty excited about this year and what is to come um, I don't have much plans we I'm here in Michigan and we have a snow day today like the kids are out of school today so if you hear some riffraff in the background that's my three kids and I'm dog sitting for my friend uh, so we have my little fur nephew here and also three kids in the house so um, yeah definitely it's a it's a full house over here so um yeah happy birthday to me i'm so excited to be spending more time with my kids and my family on this weekend um so i wanted to start off and get back into creating content with talking about some foundational beliefs that i personally hold when it comes to uh certain things in my life um so just so you can get insight on how I created my life, how I've been successful in some of the areas of my life. And um, one of the things that a lot of women, they come to me for and they're interested in is how I have so much success with men and the people of the opposite sex, right? So um, I am a daddy's girl. I did grow up with four brothers and I had a dad who was always present in the home, grew up in a two-parent household. And also I have five uncles six seven uncles seven uncles um and grand uncles and a ton of boy cousins and so i just for number one i have a lot of experience being around men right and i know some women don't have that experience necessarily where they have firsthand experience into the nature and into the habits and just like the nuances of men to where they don't really understand how to um how to deal with them and what to expect from them right and so i just wanted to take the time to say that when we heard that top that saying back in the day where men are from mars and women are from venus that is so true like that is so absolutely true if you go around thinking that men are going to respond and behave and think and act like women how we do you're going to constantly be disappointed when you are interacting with the, our male counterparts. That's just point blank, period. That is something I think most people today are getting wrong. They want men to act and respond the way that they want them to as a woman. And that's just not how it goes. We don't understand each other. Oftentimes it's because we don't take the time to study each other understand our nuances when what we're saying when we're saying certain things because we always know that there's like a way what somebody's saying with their words and then what somebody's saying with their body language versus what somebody's saying when you read between the lines right and so as a woman we have we as women we have to take time to understand our male counterparts so we can be successful with them and that's in relationships that's with parents that's with grandparents that's with co-workers that's with our children right that's with anybody that we come across that's a male counterpart because they're more alike than they are different there are little things that that makes each male different from the other but as a male species like they do some of the very similar things and we just have to realize that they're not us right so for example let's let's talk about some examples of what to expect from men they talk in straight lines typically they like direct answers so if they say what do you want to eat and you say oh i don't know um uh, they get annoyed by that but also they just have to realize that that's just how we are if you put us on the spot if we haven't thought it through we're gonna have to think up and down in circles go back 
revisionist we have to go back into our history bank and see what we liked and what we didn't like right we're not just as straightforward as they are and so men have to do the work too to understand what women like and what women don't like and what we mean and what we're saying what our meanings are behind what we say and all that they have their work cut out for them as well but as women i can only speak from a woman to another woman um on what we should do to do our part to understand men, right? So if we are having a conversation with them and they ask us what happened and we start going back in history and then we go forward and then we flash back again and then we add all these nuances to the story, they're going to get annoyed, right? They just like, I just asked you a question. Just speak direct. I don't, I don't need to know all those other details. But as women, we're like, well, that's what develops the story, right? That's what develops... How, I mean, I need to tell you the backstory in order to get to the point that I'm trying to get to. In our minds, that's how our storytelling works or how we recall something, right? So just those different nuances is what makes us us and what makes them them. And we have to stop thinking that they're going to respond like we respond, right? We're going to have to stop thinking that they're going to do what we do, right? Another thing, when men get irritated they raise their voice they put vape bass in their voice and a lot of women don't like when men do that but that is an innate primal thing that they are um automatically able to do based on their biology that's not something that they do to intimidate women that's not something they do to make them feel like less than like they're like they're in more control and you're in less control let's see if riley wants to go out. i'm sorry guys hold on Riley, you leaving out, sweetie? Go ahead. Go ahead. Call him, Gabby. Come on, Riley. Come on. We need a bathroom. He might not want to go. He can stay in here. He can stay in here. Oh, maybe he wants to go. Go out, Riley. Go out. Go out. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, you can close the door. Yeah. Cue the first interruption. Well, actually, that was the second interruption. But uh, what was I saying about men and, okay, so let's say if they put bass in their voice when they're talking to you once they get irritated. I'm so used to men putting bass in their voice after a certain time and talking with more, um, with a deeper voice or talking louder or raising their voice. To me, that's not a sense of control thing. That's a cue to me like, you know what, they getting, they getting irritated. I'm, I'm out of here. My dad used to do it. My brothers used to do it. My son does it like it, it's a, it's just a thing that they do. It's not something that as women we should be offended by or thinking, oh, they trying to control me or they want to do something. Da, da. That's just something that they do. Right. And so if you're not used to that, because women, our mothers, our aunties, our sisters, our cousins aren't going to do that. If you're not used to that, you can re you can read that as mm -mm, he's trying to control me or mm -mm, he's trying to intimidate me or mm mm. I, I, I don't like the way he's talking to me, right? That's just how they talk. They talk to each other like that. They will deepen their voice on each other. So it's not a thing that they do to women. That's just something that they do in general. Another thing that they do, let's say, for example, um, they will shut down, right? So oftentimes, if we are talking and for, again, this is speaking in generalizations, men can come in all different shapes and forms their personality comes in all different shapes and forms so take everything that i'm saying with a grain of salt because this is generalizations right so um for example men if y'all are getting into what was a talk let's say y'all were having a serious talk and then it starts to go into somewhat of a debate or back and forth they're most likely going to be the ones to end the conversation shut down walk away that does not mean that they don't care about what you're saying. As women, we will read that as, he don't care, he done shut down, he don't wanna hear what I gotta say, he don't respect my words, he don't respect what I'm going through. That is not at all what, they, what that means. What that means when they walk away is, you know what? So I don't further put myself in a hole or put myself in the doghouse or say something that I'm going to regret. I'm going to remove myself from the situation and we can revisit we can re we can revisit it when cool heads prevail. Typically that's what that means, right? And so if you are not familiar with a man shutting down, 
and you get into a marriage or in a relationship or you have a co-worker issue with a co-worker or somebody in your upline or whatever the case is and they do that you can it can be read completely wrong because typically as women we like to have the conversation until there's a resolution until there's an end that we're satisfied with we typically don't walk away and if we do we are mad we are heated it is like our our mechanism to um show that we are not satisfied with what's happening that's how women go through that's not their thought process when they do that right so there are different things and different nuances to men that as women we have to learn and we have to understand in order to learn them better there's also a book that i will link in the description box that's called women are like spaghetti men are like waffles or something like that i read that years ago and it basically talks about the male brain versus the female brain and how we are different and i will highly suggest each and every one of you to read that just so you have more insight and understanding on how to be successful with men because as we go forward again a lot of people are asking on my channel like about dating relationships being in relationships successful marriage and you know just having that strong foundation of being in partnership and in communication and in um, companionship with a man, how to be successful at that? Well, you got to do the work. It's not going to come easy. And just like our male counterparts have to do the work to understand females. I know my husband did, right? But my husband has two sisters. My husband has a whole mother. He understands the ins and outs of what it's like to be a woman versus what it's like to be a man. And so he's very patient with me. He doesn't read too much into what I'm going through. And he doesn't try to also, he also doesn't try to jump through hoops to try to do what I want him to do. He, uh, he realizes that I have to do my part into realizing that I, he's going to respond differently than what I expect. And that's okay. And if I don't understand what his response was, I need to come to him and say, Hey, I'm feeling a certain type of way based on what you just did. Am I reading this wrong? What happened? What are you going through? And they will tell you, right? Oftentimes as women, we will try to assume and guess what somebody is feeling versus just asking them and say, hey, what did that behavior mean? What did you mean when you said that? What, is it, what does that mean when you walk away? They will tell you. They're not going to hold you up. A real man would be like, this is what that means. Don't read nothing more into it. There's nothing more, nothing less. They're not going to play these games. Like, they don't got time for that. So, you know, we just kind of have to open our mouths and, um, and ask them what they what it means when they do a certain thing. And then also check my description box to get find that book because it's so, so helpful. And it'll be a great foundation to this channel um, to learn the difference between men and women as we go along and talk more about marriage and, and love and dating and courtship and things like that, all right? So thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, please let me know in the comments. If you wanna hear more about this or if you have any questions in regards to this topic, drop them in the comment section as well. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.